Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one empress, and I'm going to be doing a love reading for my Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, um, welcome back, my guys and goddesses, and how you guys doing? I would appreciate it if you guys would like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos when I post them. If you're like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check it out. All right, so I um, pre-shuffled the decks already, so let's get into the reading. God, so a spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own, so that I can give my gods and goddesses the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Now let's see what's on and popping for my Aquarius. All right, all right. You know that first card means it all. Oh, this set the stage for everything on the words, okay? So right now, Aquarius, you in the, um, you're just in a state of receiving. You in a flow. You like, um, I'm open spirit for all the blessings that you have in store for me. Okay, you done planted many seeds and you're just trusting that you got things coming your way. Okay, but it's something on your mind. It's something on your mind. You could be dealing with a uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay, something on your mind to where you're going back and forth on, you know, um, on something, but you're willing to do the work that it takes to, you know, to get the right outcome that you're looking for. Okay, oh, you're thinking about closing out a cycle with this person, you're thinking about getting away from this person because you want to get more into your energy, you want to, you know, be more free with them being yourself. You feel like that you have to have your guards up with this person and you really can't be who you really is. So it's like you is ready to take up for yourself. It's like you're very serious. It's like you're you're not playing until you get the happiness that you deserve, until you get the peace, until you get the partner, until you get the family life that you desire, okay? Until you allow your emotions to start flowing to where you're very content, okay? You're standing up for yourself. You feel like that you didn't already bear your all with this situation. You feel like you was already, um, being transparent with this individual, but this person that take you for being you. It was like they was trying to, you know, twist and turn little things about you and you just ready to be your authentic self. So you're really trying to go about a situation different now and you're thinking about getting away from a person, um, this person because they're not really understanding and paying attention to your words. So now you feel like that um, it's going to take some hard work and you're going to, you know, you're going to do it. You're going to, you have to gain your confidence up so that you can stand up for yourself and speak your mind. Okay? You but you you feel like you're at a crossroads and you're confused. You know, because you want to walk away from this situation because you really don't believe anything that comes out of this person's mouth but in the same breath you want to take your time and you want to you know make this work but you want to use logic over emotions this time you want to think before you act you know there you go but you're in your head a little bit too much you in your head a little bit too much and it's keeping you from being the the ultimate your your authentic self is keeping you in your head. You're, you're in your head a little bit too much because you second-guessing yourself. Stand up in your power as the emperor that you are and make a choice and a decision to get on top of, you know, the bad times and, you know, the things that keep you bound and keep you vibrating at a low vibration. It's time for you to walk away from that. You can start a new beginning with your person again if you really care. You know, if your person putting in the work. But some of you guys, it's time to walk away from a situation, you know, if your person is not jumping on board. Because it's keeping you at a low vibration and it's, um, you know, starting to be a little bit too much for you to deal with. 
Okay, and you don't need to sacrifice yourself for no one. It's time that you take action. It's time for you to stand up. This who you is, you know, take action on what it is that you want out of life. You got this. You got to show up and show out. You got to get serious about your happiness and your future. Okay, stop blinding yourself on what the truth is and address it. Stop being too comfortable up in your um sadness and stand up. Okay. Give me an outcome and advice for this situation, my Aquarius, for my Aquarius. Aquarius, you guys know you are very intuitive. You know that you, you know, are different. You know, speak your mind, stand in your power. Bottom of the deck, let go of all of that arguments and fights. All of that bickering and all of that, you know, doing too much. It's draining you and keeping you at a low vibration. You want your, your uh, twin flame? It's right there once you cut out all this nonsense. You're going to get up out of that stuck and stagnant energy. Just trust God's or spirit so you can celebrate. Okay? Look and think and stop. Be one with yourself so you can see. Look, can't make it up. Look, listen to your intuition. Stop in the name of love. <laughs> You know, okay, so the outcome and advice for my Aquarius is to know that an old way of doing things, it got to go. It got to go. It can be mental, physically, anything. How you thinking, how you talking, how you approaching situations, it's time to let it go. Because you got to level up and get your partner. You got to level up and, 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 and find out what it is that you really got in store for you. Y'all can rule the world, okay? But you got to get serious. Get serious about your situation. And stop. It's too many people I see in this situation, period. So, you know, keep your uh, circle a little bit more tighter. Because there's too much going on. And that's where the confusion coming in at. It's too many, too many people up in y'all business. Or is you dealing with a bipolar, I mean, a, a multiple personality type of energy. Whatever it is, address it, okay? So that you guys can move forward because y'all destined for greatness. Let me give you an oracle card to sum this up. This lightning, I don't like it. But the sun is beautiful. I like that. I'm always like that because I am the sun. Okay. Give me one oracle card for this situation for my gods and goddesses. Queen of Earth. Look at that. Thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with your challenges in a kind and understanding way. Because that's who you are. You are love and gorgeous and uh, peace and harmony and strengthful and sensible and warm and thoughtful. You're very creative. Okay? So, you know, radiate your energy. Take your time. And you will attract the exact same thing that's on your level once you get into your authenticity. You can't be stopped. Okay? Let me give you a love or a... <laughs> You got me doing too much, Aquarius. Okay, finance, finances and career. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You got to speak your mind. You got to say what's on your mind. You know, closed mouth won't be fed. So you got to get it together and stand up for yourself. You got to stand up for what's right so that you can soar like an ego. <laughs> Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It starts with communication. Opening up your mouth, speaking your words in a good, sensitive, sensible way. You don't have to be harsh. I see you showing up like the bitch here, like, I'm tired of this, you know, and doing all of what you're going to do. But it's, you, you, can, you can approach the situation very different because you're just so majestic. So stand in your power as the emperor and the empress that you are. Set the tone and um, be in a space to where, like the law of attraction, who you are is what you're going to attract. 
be that um empress and an emperor that's what you're gonna get back somebody on your level so dig deep and be yourself okay i love you guys if this energy resonates with any of you please put a comment down below um oh i'm sorry i didn't do y'all chakra it is sunday let me do this can spirit can i get a chakra you thank you for reminding me thank you spirit <laughs> get to take one of them all right so you have fourth chakra this is your heart chakra this is uh radiating warmth and sincerity oh see we just talked about this because you are gods and goddesses you got to let the love show so you can go on and level up and get what you deserve let's see what this saying i am Open to re I am open to sharing, accepting, communicating, and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. I smile in a kind-hearted way of speaking or a hug goes a long way towards uplifting others. A smile, okay? I offer care and support where I can without rescuing. Right, uh, boundaries. I nourish and respect my relationships. This is you just, you know, being in the now. This is you, like I was saying, allowing the balance and the, the goodness to come through because that's who you are. It makes you feel awakened and, and, you know, just being more of yourself, getting grounded, working on your heart chakra, wearing more orange, I mean, wearing more green, you know, um, so just and look at your car came out green too the queen of earth green 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 wear more green this week get you some flowers walk in nature um hug a tree whatever it is ground yourself walk in the you know grass you know um just surround yourself a, a green get you a green lighter you know if you guys smoke i don't say smoke but whatever works for you okay and when you open this heart chakra this um increases your ability to feel more love kindness and affection okay so um when this chakra is open you will feel more compassionate friendly and you'll strive for more harmonious relationships okay and things will start to go in the flow position for you all right well good luck with everything again um until next time, be safe, wash your hands, wear your mask then. Peace out. I love you.